The Roman Missal Latin, Missal Romanum, is the liturgical book that contains the texts and rubrics for the celebration of the Mass in the Roman Rite of the Catholic Church. History Situation before the Council of Trent before the High Middle Ages, several books were used at Mass, a sacramentary with the prayers, one or more books for the scriptural readings, and one or more books for the antiphons and other chants. Gradually, manuscripts came into being that incorporated parts of more than one of these books, leading finally to versions that were complete in themselves. Such a book was referred to as a Missal Plenum English, full missal. In 1223 St. Francis of Assisi instructed his friars to adopt the form that was in use at the papal court rule, chapter 3. They adapted this missal further to the needs of their largely itinerant apostolate. Pope Gregory IX considered, but did not put into effect, the idea of extending this missal, as revised by the Franciscans, to the whole Western Church, and in 1277 Pope Nicholas III ordered it to be accepted in all churches in the city of Rome. Its use spread throughout Europe, especially after the invention of the printing press, but the editors introduced variations of their own choosing, some of them substantial. Printing also favored the spread of other liturgical texts of less certain orthodoxy. The Council of Trent recognized that an end must be put to the resulting confusion. The first printed Missal Romanum Roman Missal, containing the Ordo Missalis Secundum Consuetudinum Curiae Romanae Order of the Missal in accordance with the custom of the Roman Curia, was produced in Milan in 1474. Almost a whole century passed before the appearance of an edition officially published by Order of the Holy See. During that interval, the 1474 Milanese edition was followed by at least 14 other editions, 10 printed in Venice, 3 in Paris, 1 in Lyon. For lack of a controlling authority, these editions differ, sometimes seriously, annotations in the hand of Cardinal Guglielmo Serlito in a copy of the 1494 Venetian edition show that it was used for drawing up the 1570 official edition of Pope Pius V in substance. This 1494 text is identical with that of the 1474 Milanese edition. Topic. From the Council of Trent to the Second Vatican Council Topic. Implementing the decision of the Council of Trent, Pope Pius V promulgated, in the Apostolic Constitution Quo Primum of 14 July 1570, an edition of the Roman Missal that was to be in obligatory use throughout the Latin Church except where there was a traditional liturgical rite that could be proved to be of at least two centuries antiquity. Some corrections to Pope Pius V's text proved necessary, and Pope Clement VIII replaced it with a new typical edition of the Roman Missal on 7 July 1604. In this context, the word, typical, means that the text is the one to which all other printings must conform. A further revised typical edition was promulgated by Pope Urban VIII on 2 September 1634. Beginning in the late 17th century, France and neighboring areas saw a flurry of independent missals published by bishops influenced by Jansenism and Gallicanism. This ended when Bishop Pierre Louis Parisi of Langres and Abbot Goeringer initiated in the 19th century a campaign to return to the Roman Missal. Pope Leo XIII then took the opportunity to issue in 1884 a new typical edition that took account of all the changes introduced since the time of Pope Urban VIII. Pope Pius X also undertook a revision of the Roman Missal, which was published and declared typical by his successor Pope Benedict XV on 25 July 1920. Though Pope Pius X's revision made few corrections, omissions, and additions to the text of the prayers in the Roman Missal, there were major changes in the rubrics, changes which were not incorporated in the section entitled, Rubrique Generales, but were instead printed as an additional section under the heading. Editions et variationes in rubricus missalis. In contrast, the revision by Pope Pius XII, though limited to the liturgy of only five days of the Church's year, was much bolder, requiring changes even to canon law, which until then had prescribed that, with the exception of midnight Mass for Christmas, Mass should not begin more than one hour before dawn or later than one hour after midday. In the part of the Missal thus thoroughly revised, he anticipated some of the changes affecting all days of the year after the Second Vatican Council. 
These novelties included the first official introduction of the vernacular language into the liturgy for renewal of baptismal promises within the Easter Vigil celebration. Pope Pius XII issued no new typical edition of the Roman Missal, but authorized printers to replace the earlier texts for Palm Sunday, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil with those that he began to introduce in 1951 and that he made universally obligatory in 1955. The Pope also removed from the Vigil of Pentecost the series of six Old Testament readings, with their accompanying tracts and collects, but these continued to be printed until 1962. Exceeding to the wishes of many of the bishops, Pope Pius XII judged it expedient also to reduce the rubrics of the Missal to a simpler form, a simplification enacted by a decree of the Sacred Congregation of Rites of 23 March 1955. The changes this made in the general Roman calendar are indicated in general Roman calendar of Pope Pius XII. In the following year, 1956, while preparatory studies were being conducted for a general liturgical reform, Pope Pius XII surveyed the opinions of the bishops on the liturgical improvement of the Roman breviary. After duly weighing the answers of the bishops, he judged that it was time to attack the problem of a general and systematic revision of the rubrics of the breviary and missal. This question he referred to the Special Committee of Experts appointed to study the general liturgical reform. His successor, Pope John XXIII, issued a new typical edition of the Roman Missal in 1962. This incorporated the revised code of rubrics which Pope Pius XII's commission had prepared, and which Pope John XXIII had made obligatory with effect from 1 January 1961. In the Missal, this code of rubrics replaced two of the documents in the 1920 edition, and the Pope's motu proprio rubricarum instructum took the place of the superseded apostolic constitution Divino Afflata of Pope Pius X. Other notable revisions were the omission of the adjective, perfides, in the Good Friday prayer for the Jews and the insertion of the name of Saint Joseph into the canon or Eucharistic prayer of the Mass. Topic. Revision of the Missal following the Second Vatican Council Topic. In 1965 and 1967 some changes were officially introduced into the Mass of the Roman Rite in the wake of Sacrosanctum Concilium, but no new edition of the Roman Missal had been produced to incorporate them. They were reflected in the provisional vernacular translations produced in various countries when the language of the people began to be used in addition to Latin. References sometimes met in an English language context to the 1965 Missal concern these temporary vernacular productions, not the Roman Missal itself. Even countries that had the same language used different translations and varied in the amount of vernacular admitted. A new edition of the Roman Missal was promulgated by Pope Paul VI with the Apostolic Constitution Missal Romanum of 3 April 1969. The full text of the revised Missal was not published until the following year, and full vernacular translations appeared some years later, but parts of the Missal in Latin were already available since 1964 in non-definitive form and provisional translations appeared without delay. In his Apostolic Constitution, Pope Paul made particular mention of the following significant changes that he had made in the Roman Missal. To the single canon of the previous edition, which, with minor alterations, was preserved as the First Eucharistic Prayer or Roman Canon. He added three alternative Eucharistic prayers, increasing also the number of prefaces. The rites of the Order of Mass in Latin, Ordo Missa, that is, the largely unvarying part of the liturgy, were simplified, while due care is taken to preserve their substance. Elements which, with the passage of time, came to be duplicated, or were added with but little advantage were eliminated, especially in the rites for the presentation of the bread and wine, the breaking of the bread, and communion. Other elements which have suffered injury through accidents of history are now to be restored to the earlier norm of the Holy Fathers Sacrosanctum Concilium, Art. 50, for example, the homily see Sacrosanctum Concilium, Art. 52, the common prayer or prayer of the faithful see Sacrosanctum Concilium, Art. 53. Paul VI also added the option of the penitential rite or act of reconciliation with God and the brothers, at the beginning of the Mass. Though this was neither an ancient part of the introductory rite nor mentioned in Sacrosanctum Concilium. 
He greatly increased the proportion of the Bible read at Mass. Even before Pius XII reduced the proportion further, only 1% of the Old Testament and 16.5% of the New Testament was read at Mass. In Pope Paul's revision, 13.5% of the Old Testament and 71.5% of the New Testament are read. He was able to do this by having more readings at Mass and introducing a three year cycle of readings on Sundays and a two year cycle on weekdays. In addition to these changes, the Pope noted that his revision considerably modified other sections of the Missal, such as the Proper of Seasons, the Proper of Saints, the Common of Saints, the Ritual Masses, and the Votive Masses, adding, in all of these changes, particular care has been taken with the prayers, not only has their number been increased, so that the new texts might better correspond to new needs, but also their text has been restored on the testimony of the most ancient evidences." More recent changes in 1970, the first Latin typical edition of this new Pauline Missal was promulgated. A year later, in 1971, an amended typical edition was promulgated. Then, a new typical edition, the second with minor changes followed in 1975. In 2000, Pope John Paul II approved yet another typical edition, which appeared in 2002, with the indication, Adidio Typica Tertia, third typical edition. This edition added feasts, especially of recently canonized saints, it added more prefaces of the Eucharistic prayers, it provided additional masses and prayers for various needs, and it revised and amplified the general instruction of the Roman Missal. In 2008, a reprint of that edition, Adidio Typica Tertia Amendata, amended third typical edition, was issued under Pope Benedict XVI, which corrected misprints and some other mistakes, such as the insertion at the beginning of the Apostles' Creed of Unum as in the Nicene Creed. A supplement gives celebrations, such as that of St. Pio of Petrelcina, added to the general Roman calendar after the initial printing of the 2002 typical edition. Three alterations required personal approval by Pope Benedict XVI. A change in the order in which a bishop celebrating Mass outside his own diocese mentions the local bishop and himself. Omission from the Latin Missal of the Eucharistic Prayers for Masses with Children which, for now, may continue to be included in vernacular missals. The addition of three alternatives to the standard dismissal at the end of Mass, i.t.e., Missa est go forth, the Mass is ended. I.t.e. ad Evangelium Domini Annunciandum go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. I.t.e. in pace, glorificando vita vestra dominum go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. ITE in pace go in peace topic continued use of earlier editions topic in his motu proprio summorum pontificum of the 7th of July 2007 pope benedict the 16th stated that the 1962 edition of the roman missal was never juridically abrogated and that it may be freely used by any priest of the latin rite when celebrating mass without a congregation." Use of the 1962 edition at Mass with a congregation is allowed, with the permission of the priest in charge of a church, for stable groups attached to this earlier form of the Roman Rite, provided that the priest using it is "...qualified to do so and not juridically impeded," as for instance by suspension. Accordingly, many dioceses schedule regular masses celebrated using the 1962 edition, which is also used habitually by priests of traditionalist fraternities in full communion with the Holy See such as the Priestly Fraternity of St. Peter, the Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priest, the Personal Apostolic Administration of St. John Mary Vienne, the Canons Regular of St. John Cantius and the Canons Regular of the Mother of God in La Grasse, France. Of groups in dispute with the Holy See, the Society of St. Pius X uses the 1962 Missal, and smaller groups such as the Society of St. Pius V and the Congregation of Mary Immaculate Queen use earlier editions. For information on the calendars included in pre-1970 editions a small part of the full Missal, see General Roman Calendar of 1960, General Roman Calendar of Pope Pius XII, General Roman Calendar of 1954, and Tridentine Calendar. Topic. Official English translations Topic. 
The International Commission on English in the Liturgy quickly prepared an English translation of the 1970 Roman Missal, which was approved by the individual English-speaking Episcopal Conferences and, after being reviewed by the Holy See, was put into effect, beginning with the United States in 1973. The authority for the Episcopal Conferences, with the consent of the Holy See, to decide on such translations was granted by the Second Vatican Council. ICEL prepared a greatly altered English translation, and presented it for the consent of the Holy See in 1998. The Holy See withheld its consent and informed ICEL that the Latin text of the Missal, which must be the basis of translations into other languages, was being revised, making irrelevant a translation based on what would no longer be the official text of the Roman Missal. On 28 March 2001, the Holy See issued the instruction Liturgium Authenticam, which included the requirement that, in translations of the liturgical texts from the official Latin originals, the original text, insofar as possible, must be translated integrally and in the most exact manner, without omissions or additions in terms of their content, and without paraphrases or glosses. Any adaptation to the characteristics or the nature of the various vernacular languages is to be sober and discreet. This was a departure from the principle of dynamic equivalence promoted in ICEL translations after the Second Vatican Council. In the following year, the third typical edition of the revised Roman Missal in Latin, which had already been promulgated in 2000, was released. These two texts made clear the need for a new official English translation of the Roman Missal, particularly because the previous one was at some points an adaptation rather than strictly a translation. An example is the rendering of the response et cum spiritu tuo, literally, and with your spirit, as, and also with you. Accordingly, the International Commission for English in the Liturgy prepared, less hurriedly than the first time, a new English translation of the Roman Missal, the completed form of which received the approval of the Holy See in April 2010. On 19 July 2001, the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments established an International Committee of English Speaking Bishops, called the Vox Clara Committee to advise that dicastery in its responsibilities related to the translation of liturgical texts in the English language and to strengthen effective cooperation with the conferences of bishops." On the occasion of the meeting of the committee in Rome in April 2002, Pope John Paul II sent them a message emphasizing that, "...fidelity to the rites and texts of the liturgy is of paramount importance for the Church and Christian life," and charging the committee to ensure that the texts of the Roman Rite are accurately translated in accordance with the norms of the instruction Liturgium Authenticam. Liturgium Authenticam also took from the bishops' conferences the power to make its own translations and instituted a papal commission, Vox Clara, to revise the bishops' work. In 2008 it made an estimated 10,000 changes to the ICEL's proposed text. By 2017, Pope Francis had formed a commission to review and evaluate Liturgium Authenticam. The work of making a new translation of the Roman Missal was completed in time to enable the National Episcopal Conference in most English-speaking countries to put it into use from the first Sunday of Advent, the 27th of November, 2011. As well as translating et cum spiritu tuo as and with your spirit which some scholars suggest refers to the gift of the Holy Spirit the priest received at ordination, in the Niceno-Constantinopolitan creed, "'Consubstantial with the Father' was used as a translation of "'Consubstantialum Patri' in Greek, "'Homoousian Toi Patri' instead of "'Of One Being with the Father' or, in the United States only, "'One in Being with the Father' and the Latin phrase qui pro vobis et pro multis effunditor in remissionem peccatorum, formerly translated as, it will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven, was translated literally as, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. See Pro Multis, the new official translation of the entire Order of Mass is available on the website of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, which also provides a comparison between the new text of the People's Parts and that hitherto in use in the United States where the version of the Nicene Creed was slightly different from that in other English-speaking countries. Pope Benedict XVI remarked, many will find it hard to adjust to unfamiliar texts after nearly 40 years of continuous use of the previous translation. The change will need to be introduced with due sensitivity, and the opportunity for catechesis that it presents will need to be firmly grasped. 
I pray that in this way any risk of confusion or bewilderment will be averted, and the change will serve instead as a springboard for a renewal and a deepening of Eucharistic devotion all over the English speaking world. The plan to introduce the new English translation of the Missal was not without critics. Over 22,000 electronic signatures, some of them anonymous, were collected on a web petition to ask the bishops, cardinals, and the Pope to reconsider the new translation. At the time there was open dissent from one parish in Seattle, the Southern African Catholic Bishops' Conference Botswana, South Africa, Swaziland put into effect the changes in the people's parts of the revised English translation of the Order of Mass from 28 November 2008, when the Missal as a whole was not yet available. Protests were voiced on grounds of content and because it meant that Southern Africa was thus out of line with other English-speaking countries. One bishop claimed that the English-speaking conferences should have withstood the Holy See's insistence on a more literal translation. However, when in February 2009 the Holy See declared that the change should have awaited completion of work on the Missal, the bishops' conference appealed, with the result that those parishes that had adopted the new translation were directed to continue using it, while those that had not were told to await further instructions before doing so. In view of the foreseen opposition to making changes, the various English-speaking episcopal conferences arranged catechesis on the Mass and the Missal, and made information available also on the Internet. Other initiatives included publication by the United States-based Catholic News Agency of a series of ten articles on the revised translation. See also Topic Sacramentary Missal Romanum Glagolitis Mass Catholic Church Pre-Tridentine Mass Tridentine Mass Mass of Paul VI Liturgical books of the Roman Rite References Further reading Goldhead Group, The 2010. New Translation of the English Roman Missal, A Comprehensive Guide and Explanation. Minneapolis, Lulu. ISBN 0-557-86206-X. An Exploration of the Changes to the English Roman Missal Affecting English-Speaking Catholics as of the first Sunday of Advent in 2011. <laughs> External links Topic. Online texts of editions of the Roman Missal Topic. Topic. Full texts of the Missal Romanum Topic. 2002 Typical edition of the Roman Missal 1962 Typical edition of the Roman Missal Aditio Typica. Scanned in black and white 1962 Typical edition of the Roman Missal, Aditio Typica, scanned in black and white, Sanctemissa.org. 1920 Typical edition of the Roman Missal, with feasts updated to the late 1920s, Musicasacra.com. 1920 Typical edition of the Roman Missal, with feasts updated to the late 1920s, Sanctemissa.org. Missal Romanum published by Pustet, 1894, 1884 Typical edition. Roman Missal, published by Pustet, 1862, 1634 Typical Edition, updated to 1862 List of links to online reproductions of Latin manuscripts and printed editions from c. 1100 to 2002 and old translations Topic. Texts of Roman Rite Missals earlier than the 1570 Roman Missal Topic. Missal Romanum. Mediolani, 1474. Robert Lippi, editor, Henry Bradshaw Society, London 1899, Volume 1 Manuscript Missal of Before 1225 in the Real Academia de la Historia, Spain Biblioteca Digital. Manuscript Missal of Before 1225 in the Real Academia de la Historia, Spain Fatima Movement. Com. Topic. The 2011 English translation. Topic.
The Roman Missal, United States edition. Topic: Partial texts. Topic: Order of Mass 2011 translation as a web page and downloadable in EPUB and Kindle formats. Missal Romanum 2008, Aditio Typica Tertia Amendata, Latin text of the amended third edition of the Roman Missal. General instruction of the Roman Missal of 2002 English translation, but with adaptations for Australia. General instruction of the Roman Missal of 2002 English translation, but with adaptations for the United States of America. General instruction of the Roman Missal of 2002 English translation, but with adaptations for England and Wales. General instruction of the Roman Missal of 2002 Latin text, free from adaptations for particular countries. Promulgation of the Roman Missal revised by decree of the Second Vatican Council, 1969. English translation of the rubrics of the 1962 Roman Missal. Ordo Missa of the 1962 Roman Missal with an English translation and audio of the Latin text.